Oh, that sounds like an old man having sex. That's what that sounds like. Anna. So, summer's coming up, which a lot of girlies out there know means one thing. Oh my god, hey, how are you? I'm good. It's so great to see you. Yeah, Drew, oh my god, it's so great. Oh my god, please feel free to sit down. Damn it. Damn it. Just say, say no, no I'm, I'm fine. fine. Yeah, sure. What, why would you say that? You're such a fucking people pleaser. Why can't you just say no? Okay, slow, slow, slow breathe, breathe, in. breathe in. Breathe in. Good, quiet, quiet, slow. <laughs> what was that? You sounded like you were supposed to be that. Just call. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Oh my god, yeah, totally. Don't worry about it. But what if I, as the person that I am today, on this beautiful day, on this beautiful earth, set here, right now, and hereby announced, no more? Well, you probably asked me what I mean by no more. When I say no more, I mean no more jean lining up the labia, no more flossing between the legs, no more high-waist punch in the stomach, no more, oh, I actually have cute clothes, but I don't really know how to style them, so I'm just gonna go for the easiest thing that is there. You need to trust me on this one, okay? Summer fashion can be so much more than jean shorts and a crop top. And today, we're gonna prove that point. But before that, let me just tell you, there are more ways than one in which you can upgrade any outfit. One of them being treating yourself to a phone case that is so absolutely freaking cute. I want to decease. No, I actually do not. Please, God, don't take me serious when I say this. Excusez-moi. Ex C'est quoi ça? C'est quoi? Et? Tu, tu casa, su casa. <laughs> what am I even saying? Yeah, I think Caseify is not gonna be proud of me. This is gonna be my ad read, but. This video is not sponsored. However, Caseify shot me an email a couple of weeks ago and was like, Ayo, girl, we really like what you're doing. Can we send you some free stuff? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can. And so I went onto their website and I picked some of my favorite things and I got this phone case, which like, as an anxiety girl, that mainly struggles with being present because you know, anxiety brain is like, well, the past we can't change, so that's like kind of scary. And the future we can't predict, so that's like kind of scary. And so we're anywhere but here. And then because I'm also addicted to my phone, every time I look at it now, I have to say, you are exactly where you need to be. And I'm like, that's beautiful. It is such a small change, but this has been such a game changer. Stop worrying, you know? Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. You are exactly where you need to be. The future's not ours to see. Besides that though, because Caseify freaking rocks, they didn't just send me this cute phone case, but also their new phone strap. They also sent me the Sage one with like a golden accent. So now that dress season is coming back and yes, we would all love some pockets in our dresses, but until all of the tailors out there are gonna catch up, we need to be able to carry our phones without having to use the claw for everything. <laughs> Caseify has the solution. So get yourself one of these for summer. Also, if you kind of want to feel like as though I'm always there, just like kind of cheering you on and telling you stop worrying girly because you are exactly where you need to be. Make sure to get that phone case. We're gonna match, which is like cutest thing ever and we're like one of these matching couples whatever again you're gonna find all of these products using the link that is down in the description box and if you get any of these please 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 dm me and send me a picture but now back to my version of do you hear the people sing aka singing the song of angry girlies that do not want to have a pair of jean shorts up the vacuity anymore <sighs> 24 hours later. I'm totally not able to figure out my freaking bang. I'm gonna lose my mind because I'm not able to figure them out. <gasps> yeah! All right, okay, besides my Team I Rocket hair, onto what we want to talk about. I splice this up into three different categories for you to be able to remember it more easily whenever you're gonna approach your closet this summer and you're gonna look at everything you own. You're not gonna be able to forget because you're gonna think of this video and you're gonna be like, I own skirts, I own dresses, and I own pants, and I can style these three categories in so many different ways. And also, I know that I'm like not reinventing the wheel here. I know that all of this is like kind of obvious, but sometimes my girly girls, me included, need to be reminded of our options. Let's go. We're gonna make a subcategory in the first category. AK, we're not just gonna do skirts, but we're also gonna do jean skirts. I mean, I can't even say like jean skirts are making a comeback because they have been. Jean skirts, there's something magical about them. What you ask, they make any sort of limb look as though you deserve a Guinness World Record. Whenever I see myself or like other people in jean skirts, I'm like, <laughs> girl, are you seven feet tall? Girl, am I supposed to pass you a torch because you look like the Statue of Liberty? Like you're really tall. That was such a bad joke. Look, I was trying to think of like a famous giant. I was like, who's a famous giant? And then I came up with the Statue of Liberty because she's she's a tall girl. You can go into so many different directions. Here, I went into the two opposite ones, AKA we have more so like a casual Gen Z-ish. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm just gonna state it. Colorful, fun, she's an artiste sort of vibe. But then I also went into the exact opposite direction, AKA I dress up elegant. I also didn't even bother to button up this blouse because you know what? I was like, we're gonna let the kids out today. We're gonna, <laughs> my titties deserve to see the world too. Obviously only do that if you feel comfortable with it, but like you deserve to show off your amazingly beautiful body. So if you don't want to button up your blouse, don't bother. 
Now onto the like regular skirts, I suppose. Here my two favorite shapes are the A-line shape and the sort of like pencil skirt-ish like tight shape because you know we love showing off the curves or I guess the curves that I'm dreaming of having. I'm working out a lot at the moment, okay? I'm gonna have a butt in like two years. But come on, what are two years? Killian Murphy's not even gonna be 50 in two years, so. You know who I'm doing this for. <laughs> I know he's married, I respect it, okay? I'm just joking. The world is your oyster with skirts. You can go for patterns, you can go for different colors, you can go for different shapes, you can truly do whatever you want. And whatever your style is, there is going to be a skirt for you. And I guess it is pretty obvious to tell that my favorite way to style them is either with a crop top or a tube top, and then just a maxi skirt below that. Why you ask? Because like, trust me, the silhouette you're gonna have, oh, chefs. And also, honestly, long skirts give me peace of mind. As a very pale girly, I obviously love that they protect my legs from the sun. But also, I'm not gonna get that hot that easily. So if you don't have one already, go get yourself a maxi skirt for the summer. <laughs> Moving on to the next category, aka dresses. Here I got the four main types of dresses that I'm gonna be wearing this summer. A wraparound dress, a bodycon dress, a silk dress that emphasizes your curves, and an A-line baby doll dress. And with any of these dresses, I would highly recommend to you, like even if you can't afford, I can't afford this myself, getting a professional color analysis. There are so many online resources in order for you to be able to find out what sort of color suits you. Because having like a monochrome dress that is in a color that really brings out your eyes or your skin or your hair, girl, you are never going to feel as euphoric as when you're gonna put on that dress and you're gonna look in the mirror. I know that I like wearing white, I like wearing red, and most importantly, I love wearing, as you could maybe tell, green. So obviously these dresses are going to be these colors. Anyways, dress one, my green dress. It's not like a typical wrap around so that you like actually wrap it around and then you tie it, but it's sewn in a way so that it like wraps around my torso and then like glides into my legs. So it really hugs my body in like a really, really nice way. Here I also highly recommend getting a scarf that you can sort of like wrap around your head. And honestly, is a little bit of my secret to look as though I have my shit together, even though everyone is like, I don't know what I'm doing. Girl, shut the f like sit down. I don't know what I'm doing. I get to have that pedestal. Put me on there because I deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. I know that like the majority of the population is struggling with this, but you can have greasy hair, you can have a bad hair day. Put on a meshing headscarf and people are gonna think you're the shit. Moving on to my tight bodycon dress. Now, if you have seen my last video, you already know this dress, but I still wanted to include it in here because it has a pattern. I very much think that if this dress was just one shade of red, it wouldn't be as flattering as it is now, that it has like this sort of dimension within it. And because I wanted to further the dimension, this time I really wanted to wear something patterned on top of it. And so I put on this amazing blouse with this beautiful embroidery. As long as the two patterns sort of go into like the same direction, aka like these two patterns are so romantic. I feel like you can truly mix and match whatever you want. And also if you feel uncomfortable with like showing cleavage or shoulders or whatever, it is also a very good way in order to tweak your outfit the way that you would want to wear it. My third dress is my white silk dress, even though it's not made out of real silk, but I'm just gonna call it silk because you know, I wanna be fancy. Now, obviously here you can keep it like super, super simple and just keep like the white theme going. As I did here, I just put a white simple dress on top. And I love wearing these sorts of dresses with my dog Martens because it is such a perfect contrast. But obviously you can also add as much detail with this outfit as you want. So at one point I was like, I kind of want to add a jean vest on top of that, you know, just in order to mock the jean shorts even more. Anyways, moving on to the last dress, aka the baby doll dress. I know that I've worn it quite a lot in the past, but I feel like this shape really is so flattering. I don't really feel like I have to add a lot here. Get yourself a baby doll dress that fits you well. That best case scenario is like a simple dress so that you can accessorize the hell out of it and it just keeps on giving. And now we have arrived at the last category, aka pants that are not made out of denim. And now with pants, we obviously have short pants and long pants. Wow. Great. Oh my God, I'm so good at analyzing. I should be like a researcher. Now my favorite type of pants for summer is obviously one that has white legs that is made out of a very light fabric. And so especially living in Europe, linen, linen, linen is my girl. And with the two pairs of long pants, I kind of again wanted to just show off two different ways to style it. And so with the brown pants, I decided to go for something really casual and really simple. Because you know, sometimes in summer you get up and you just, you don't want to be that girl for a day. You just want, you want to be a girl, a girly girl. You don't want to be that girl necessarily. And so here I just paired it with a simple white top. Also, I know that I talk mostly about thrifting clothing, but this top I got from weekday like two years ago. I don't even remember at this point, but this top has taught me the lesson of getting white top that truly fits you. There's so many different shapes of tops that I wasn't even aware of until I put on this top in the changing room and I was like, this hugs my body in ways I wish my boyfriend would have hugged me in the past. <laughs> I put on a comfortable pair of pants, the top accessorized a little bit here and there, and I'm ready to go. Next up, we still have sort of a casual vibe, but I feel like a little bit more of a dressed up fit. It could also be because the pants 
or just black and I associate black with like dress stuff. I have never claimed that I'm a fashionista, okay? I just put on stuff and I say what I say and take what helps, leave what doesn't. I'm like a horoscope, okay? Again, pants are super comfortable. Fit is really easy to recreate with things you already own. I'm slaying. Like, I don't think that we need to discuss this. And then my favorite thing out of this like book, I discovered something, which is not a discovery at all. So many girlies have been doing this, but Adidas shorts. Why you ask? Well, I might have rewatched Call Me By Your Name. And then I was like, these shorts are kind of cool. Let's ignore the cannibal vibe. Let's just focus on whatever they are wearing. Again, as a European, this whole movie's atmosphere is like your summer. And I want to have that atmosphere within me. And so I went onto Vinted and I just typed in blue shorts. And then these shorts came up and I was like, a whole new world. First of all, they're so comfortable. I can do anything and everything with them. I can't touch my toes. I have tried it, not because of the shorts, just because my hamstrings are shorter than TikTok kids' attention span. But point is, the shorts didn't hurt me. And not in any way. They didn't rise up. They didn't go into my butt crack. I didn't get essayed by them every time I sat down. And excuse me, what? Do not tell me that Emma Chamberlain wouldn't wear this fit. Do not tell me because you would be a liar. You would lie. I just called myself not a fashionista, but I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say that this is a trend. I do not regret it. I'm never gonna look back. Go get yourself a pair of Adidas shorts. Or why am I saying Adidas? Just get yourself a pair of shorts and the brand doesn't really matter. And that is that on that. I hope that some of the fits maybe inspire you to steer away from your usual summer attire. Or maybe if you already were a fashion girly to begin with, maybe it gave you new inspo. If you decide to do so and maybe make it official on social media, please send it to me or tag me. I cannot wait to see what you're gonna come up with. But these are just like the main lessons that I learned over the past two years in which I decided that I'm like done with dressing boringly because yes, in summer I might be exhausted, but I personally, if I just know what is there and if I just know what I can create out of the things that I own, it's so much easier to get out of bed and be like, yes, actually, today I'm gonna dress up. So I hope that this lookbook did that exact thing for you. Also, if you liked any of my fits or if you like me and anything that I do, I would appreciate any sort of like, any sort of share. Or if you like me and my sort of like mid jokes, then obviously feel free to join the pack. I could take on some more members. The pack is a very loving community. I swear I'm not gonna fall in love with your child. That is a promise that I can make, but it's just good vibes. All about good vibes around here. And as always, I hope that you know that I love you. I hope that you know that you matter. And I hope that today you did something Thing. Wow, what am I doing with my fingers? I hope that today you did something that was valuable to you. And we're going to see each other next week. Okay, bye. Peace out. The you want to read down is such a good tool. It's what it is. I mean, that's, that's what the law is. Right there. That'd be beyond a reasonable doubt. That's what it is.